Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today I'm gonna talk about V-Ray 2 and explain, explain some of the new features in this version so it's gonna be a lot of fun so be sure to stay with me my name is Anarob and this is gfxtoday.com so first off I'm gonna start with this empty scene and press 10 and bring up my default sorry my V-Ray 2 here press OK and prepare for what's coming next so first we can for this active shade we can select V-Ray RT so this comes default with V-Ray and what this allows us to do is we can see our process in real time so this is something very exciting and I'll show you how to do this so let's make a V-Ray plan bring up our material editor by pressing M and apply just a regular white material Okay, then I'm gonna make a spear on the top, maybe like here, and okay, and again give it another material, maybe use another color, like this or so, press OK, and just like this, and now go to render from rendering menu and settings and let's go here and presets and I'm gonna take my preset press load you can find this on GFX today and let's go to indirect illumination and Okay, okay, and go to environment, hit M, choose an empty slot, and let's see, choose HDRI, and as you can see here, there are some different things here, but we'll talk about this later, and choose our HDR map, and from here, choose spherical. Now take this, apply it to here, and three of these. So now if we press render, this is what we're gonna see. Pretty good and pretty basic, but how can we see this in real time? So let's close this, close this one, press Alt W, and maybe you can use this one, press P for perspective, F3, maybe like this, maybe you can zoom in, and from here, right click, and go to views, and active shade. Now let's wait for this to finish, it doesn't take much time, and I don't want to pause it to see here it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is what we have in here. So when you move this, it moves in here. And when you go like this, zoom in and zoom out, everything happens here in real time. So I think this is really interesting. And let's see. We have some really great features in this V-Ray 2. You can get it from the Shows group. Let's see here. Okay. Boom. Can you see this? Where is the window? There it is. Yeah. Where is the window? There it is. <laughs> okay. 
Do you know how I do that? I know maybe someone out there may, might say Hey you, I know you have another screen you mother beep Okay, thank you. Yes, I have another screen <laughs> So here are the new features We have the V-Ray color paint which we will be talking about we have things in the light, the light lister, which is a great feature and lens effects and all this great stuff. So let's put this on the other screen. And here we go. So I think this is a really cool new feature in V-Ray 2. Of course it was there before but it wasn't coming with just V-Ray so as you can see you can just make like a box here and give it a material like standard material from here apply it and you'll see it here in real time so I think in the future we won't have to deal with these viewports anymore we'll just deal with these real time things and see it instantly so this is gonna be very cool so if you want to close that just right click and press close and here we come again so second thing we're gonna talk about is scar paint material so I'm gonna open a new file we have here this cool 3d bus and we want to try the new uh, car paint material on it so first let's go to the top view here and we don't want this so make sure that okay go to here this active shade is applied to V-Ray real time and now go to here right click and views and press active shade so now we can see what happens in real time press here oops first we have to go to the perspective view I forgot to do that and use active shade for the image and when it's done there we go so here we have our beautiful bus and we want to apply our material so go to here press M that brings up our material editor and go to the first let's just see we want to select this right this here and apply we will replace this material with the one we want and the one we want is V-Ray Core Paint so I'll double click on it and this is how it looks like so if we just apply it as it is with the default value let's see what happens here to our bus so as you can see the material itself really looks amazing it has reflections and it has glossiness now let's go to the properties of this great material and see what can we do with it first we have the base color we can change it to anything and we have the base reflection and the glossiness you can play this glossiness here to get something really just be careful with it maybe something like this or so and also we have the flake layer parameters the same things the flake color and glossiness and density scale all this good stuff and we have this coat layer parameters you can change this color maybe to something like this here and this will give a nice effect on the surface of our of our 
of our of our of our what <laughs> of our material so as you can see here it has this really goes from like blue here to this color here and here so this really looks pretty good and we have subdivisions here you can do whatever you want with it if you have a powerful computer you can make this go like 13 or something of course I want to do this because I'm not crazy <laughs> So also we have these things here you can put a map to any one of them and also we have a code pump material so you can give it a pump material if you like bitmap or something so I think so far this looks really great and we haven't done much with these settings so let's go to another great thing which is lighting let's see where is it where is it here it is <laughs> where okay the light this so I'm gonna talk about this this is really great upgrade for V-Ray 2 so let me open another file so here I have this scene which I have done some time ago and it's mainly a locker room and as you can see on this ceiling here I have really tons of VRA lights and this really happened I wanted to control every one of them and just maybe let's see select this one okay. select this one okay and I wanted to decrease or increase the multiplier for each one of them and I had to do this many times so I had to choose everyone separately and change this and this one then change this so this was really annoying so here is a good way to do that with 3d story max standard lights we could do this from light lister here and it will choose our let's see point lights maybe or omni lights or anything you will see this all here but you wouldn't be able to see the V-Ray lights so here we have this from tools you can choose V-Ray light lister and this allows us to do the same thing but with the lights in 3D Studio Max so as you can see here we have I have my V-Ray light, the multiplier and the color, the temperature, I can switch this on and off and all this great stuff, also subdivisions and shadows, you can turn the shadows on and off for every one of this huge amount of lights. Also we have the point lights, so you have the standard V-Ray lights and, sorry the standard 3D Studio Max and lights and the V-Ray light so this is really handy when it comes to things like all this stuff okay so I hope you try this and tell me if you like it another great thing in V-Ray 2 is lens flare lens effects how can we get to that simply just press 8 from your keyboard or from rendering here press environment or just press effects and you can see it here side by side we want this effects and press add and choose V-Ray lens effect so now we have this V-Ray lens effect you can turn the bloom and the glare on you can get it from image or from render camera or can just choose render camera for now and choose whatever settings you want and after this you can press update scene and see how it looks like press update scene and see how it looks like and also we have this HDRI as you can see these all are different 
now you have to choose your mapping type from this menu and we can horizontal or rotating these are all the stuff but we can also flip horizontally and vertically so now this is new stuff also you can control the gamma like this or the overall multiplier like this and these are really cool stuff and also the cache size from here with megabyte and you can check this clear cache on render end think this comes really handy sometimes so just play around with all these settings and explore all this great stuff in VRA2 so I think I'm gonna be using this in all our in all my next tutorials here and let's see how can we do about this so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial go there and explore everything and good luck I am Apanob and this is GFX today that's it.